Hola Aries, welcome to your mid-month for March 2022, the mid-month tune-up. Um, if it resonates, consider a personal reading, just send me an email or a DM and we can certainly set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guys Universe, can you please read your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Aries for the middle of March 2022 and how they'll be moving forward. Any messages will be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? To reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine through your messages. Any messages? would be greatly appreciated and we thank you for Aries middle of March 2022 what do you see what do they need to know general what is going on here yes a flip here okay sorry general energies we have the oh deception um okay I'm seeing deception there be careful of that um Make sure you click on the Vimeo link, link below for your weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances. That was weird how that did that. Your finances and your health. Okay, we had the five of wands in reverse in regards to your challenge position. Um, in my playlist are your 2022 sun moon predictions. That's about as close to a personal reading as you can get without getting one. Um, 2021s are still in there if you want to see if they rang true for you. Lover's card in the upright is advice. That is not love. That's a choice, I feel. Um, and look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, donate. Okay, we end on the nine of cups in the upright. Huh. All right. So I, I feel as though you're being deceived. I don't know who the person is. Um, the combination of these two cards, Seven of Cups in Reverse and the Magician card in Reverse, is someone who definitely is not showing uh, you who they actually are. They're actually trying to deceive you by how they're appearing. So you might want to dig a little deeper and find out. And, and whatever is on the surface, you're wildly attracted to. Okay, so it's working. Um, I, I think they're kind of sucking you in. Um, they're tempting you. They're they're painting these wonderful scenarios for you. They're and it's causing you to idealize and romant romanticize the situation. Um, again, it's all surface. I feel like it's all surface. You guys need to take like big, two big steps back and three deep breaths and kind of look at the situation and say, uh, you know, get your clarity and say, am I getting into a really bad situation here? Because I do feel that this person is trying to trick you, manip manipulate you and trying to, um, trying to, you know, convince you into doing something that you wouldn't ordinarily do. Um, the five of wands here in reverse it's in the challenge position, so that's an indication to me that um, it's really it's really weird. Yeah, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I think that there is um, the tension between the two of you, the fighting, um, you know, arguing. You know, that really kind of pumps up the adrenaline and gets things going. Okay, I I think for some of you, it's it's the adrenaline of that interaction. You really really like that with this person, and um, the five of wands is in the challenge edition because it's saying you don't want harmony. You don't you don't want to not have conflict. You don't want to have relief or anything like that. I feel like you like kind of going at it with this person. And a lot of times the five of wands can be um, you know rivalrous, competition. You know, getting in there and you know really kind of going at it um, and not in a sexual way, but. I feel like you don't you don't want harmony with this person. You actually like the conflict that you have with them. Um, otherwise, the you know finding harmony would not be in this position, um, the challenge position. Lovers card in the upright. There has to be a choice that kind of has to be made here. Um, I don't I don't feel if you continue on their tra trajectory, it's going to be very good for you. Um, I mean, I think I just see it kind of spiraling out of control or spiraling downwards or it's just going to blow up. So they are kind of saying to you, you are going to make a choice in regards to love. Um, lover's card is the card of Gemini. And usually the choice is something that has like something associated with it. So, you know, you, you might, for instance, you might um, choose to no longer talk to this person, but then and it turns out you still work with them, you know, or it, it's something kind of comes along with it um, that you might not, that might not be the most pleasant thing. Um, but I feel like, you know, you, the choice is going to have to be made here and I feel like it's coming. Um, 
I'm actually going to hold off on this for clarifiers. I'm getting a lot of different messages for that. Not really. I mean, it's going a couple of different ways and I would just like to kind of firm up on that a little bit. So let me start with clarifiers. Why is the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups here in reverse and the magician card here in reverse? Why is the seven of cups here? Okay. Yeah. So the nine of cups in the upright is an indication to me that, um, they're, they're making it seem like they can deliver everything to you, your wildest dreams. They can emotionally fulfill you. They can make you, you know, joyous and happier than you've ever been. And you feel content when you're with them, um, you know. But again, I think it's a facade that they're kind of putting out there to kind of, you know, kind of draw you in a little bit. Um, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I'm kind of seeing somebody walking away and then coming back going away and then coming back. I, I'm kind of getting in the sense of, um, you know, being drawn to this energy again. So some of you might, and I'm not saying this to offend anybody, but some of you might want to look into relationships that you have had growing up with people, what your definition of love is, what you have learned is love, because I see this person not being a good person for you, but you being wildly attracted to them. And I'm getting the sense of you're saying, I'm done with this, I'm gonna walk away, I don't need this crap, and then you return. And then you and then you go at it again and then you say I'm done here and you walk away and then you come back So I, I think you're drawn to this this dark energy bad girl bad boy energy that they kind of have um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not here to lie. Um, <laughs> why is the five of wands here in reverse? Okay, a knight of pentacles and I'm trying not to make this like a love reading because these are general readings um, But you know, you have the lovers card kind of show up in some of these other cards. It's hard to like you know what I mean? It kind of is what it is. Okay, so somebody is being really stubborn here. Somebody is like, this is what I want. This is how it needs to be. If anyone tries to tell them otherwise, they're just not having it. They're like, nope. You know, this is what I want to do really stubbornly um, holding on to something, not wanting to consider anything else, even though they know it probably is not a good thing. Okay, so that's part of the challenge. Um, Knight of Cups in Reverse is talk, speaking as somebody who is not very mature in an emotional sense. Um, usually somebody who um, they have commitment issues, they aren't emotionally available, they're just bad news in general. They aren't capable of ha having a healthy relationship. So the challenge is that for some of you, I'm not saying all of you, whoever this reading's for, you're very drawn to that. People that, um, you know, um, are not emotionally available, you know, are very moody, that they're very jealous, they, they it could even be abusive so you want to be careful of that and the tower card in reverse is in the challenge position to me saying you know you need to get out of this so that you know you should be getting out of this so you could see the reason for this there like a grander perspective is going to come out of this this is really going to open up a lot of things you're going to learn a lot of things about yourself but you're not going to be able to learn them until you're out of it and i don't feel like you want to get out of it i think you want to stay stay in it even though it's not good for you, okay? And even though it's probably not gonna, it's probably gonna implode if I were to guess. Um, why is the lover's card here in the upright for advice? And it's just because of the nature of it. King of Cups in the upright. Knight of Swords in the reversed. King of Swords in the upright. Okay, I'm getting from the King of Cups in the upright and the King of Swords in the upright that you actually have two people that are telling you that this person is no bueno and that you should be choosing otherwise, okay? Um, the King of Cups could be somebody who's older than you. They're both, they both have male energies. So they could be male or just have masculine energies. Um, the King of Cups is someone who's real kind, really understanding. He's, he's really good when it comes to, um, you know, uh, he's very in control of his emotions. He's very empathetic, but he's not sympathetic is how I describe him. Um, and he's really good at looking at a situation from an emotional kind of side. Um, King of Swords is the same thing. I'm getting this masculine energy of somebody who's advising you and they're saying, look, you're too in this to see what it actually is. Um, take a step out of it. Um, you know, this is what I would do and this is what I think you should do. Um, you know, but, and, and I, I think that both of them don't care for this person, okay? And this could be the same person just with two, two sides to them, so to speak. Um, 
but they see this person as the Knight of Swords in reverse. And, and this is why they're advising you in this way. Um, they feel that this person's going to pull you down, that they're very chaotic. Whatever they're telling you is not the truth. Um, they're just trying to say what they're going to say so that they can kind of, you know, get you, you know. <laughs> so that's what the Knight of Swords does. He says whatever he says to kind of like sell somebody on something. But he, he has no intention of following through on it. And not only that, but then he, he denies that he ever tried to do that to begin with. So um, these two people are kind of you know letting you know what they kind of think about this person and they're actually advising you that you should actually listen to them and then that's going to help with your choice that you're going to need to make um why is this nine of cups here in the upright why is this nine of cups here in the upright for aries as they move forward who is this person what is this energy who is this person what is this energy i just don't like that picture of that particular deck Okay, I think I think what's going to happen as you move forward, I don't think it's going to be because of these people here. I think what's going to happen is you're going to find out eventually the the, the you're going to see this person for who they actually are. And strangely enough, the Nine of Cups, you know, by textbook definition isn't isn't this, but whatever that isn't how we do stuff. Um, look at this here. I mean, there there is some kind of servant or something bringing plates of food to this person and he's just like kind of picking what he wants. And he's really pleased with it. But look how beseeching this person is. Um, you know, I'm getting the sense that you're going to find out that you're giving a lot more to this person and they're kind of taking advantage. Pisces had a little bit of a similar reading. Um, so and and then as a result you're going to see them for how they really are i mean we have the emperor card in reverse which is a card of aries but i don't feel like this is relevant to you um they might be an aries or something with, with these two cards king of wands in reverse the emperor card in reverse i'm getting somebody that really is a very not nice per very controlling person um you know it kind of pushes boundaries with you um they could be cruel they could be dominating um you know they they don't listen to anything that you have to say there it's kind of like my way or the highway like with this combination and i feel as though that's as you move forward you're going to be at the end of your rope there and then what's going to happen here is you're out of there you're going to decide that you need to have a, a journey by yourself um step out singly into new territory have your own adventure outside of this person and not kind of live in fear which is what i feel um it's going to turn into i think you're this person is going to continue to escalate their behavior and it's going to get to a point where you're actually going to be you know um fearful I, I guess that's the only way I can put it and because emperor card in reverse can be very tyrannical um you know like a tyrant he he likes to really put the screws to somebody he enjoys having control over people and not letting them have control um you know a little bit of a sociopath in my opinion um <laughs> but i think you're going to see it for what it really is and you're going to be like i'm appeasing this person all the time either out of fear or out of you know whatever reason it was really it was really cool like exciting in the beginning but now it's just really turned weird um again i'm not seeing this being anything other than a love thing you know i'll look into this and i'll try to see um but I, i'm just not seeing another story so i'm not going to try to force it so that's what i have for you all if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or dm we can certainly set that up click on the vimeo link below for your weekly extra which will have your love your career your finances and your health in there in my playlist are your 2022 sun moon predictions as close as you can get to a personal reading outside of getting one um look me up on facebook instagram tiktok like share subscribe or donate otherwise i will see you in the vimeo reading adios from veronica garnett bye